Hi everyone, my name is Alex Rionke and today we are back on the RTS project we've got going. So in this video we're going to be starting to implement a few objects, um, mainly just the one, um, but we're also going to add some kind of basic units into it, um, and basically that's the, the video summed up. So first thing I've done is I've gone ahead and made a really really basic unit, and this wasn't my own art, this was... I'll get it up and credit in the description uh, later. But somebody basically sent me the these images. They're really, really nice. Um, I quite like them, to be honest. They fit the theme really well without me having to do that much to them. Um, and yeah, they work. So we've got a few ones. The one we're going to be using today is the really basic unit kind of thing. Because here he's got a little helmet on, he's got a sword, and he's got a little shield there in the background. And that's all well and good. And he's quite um, quite tall, but I quite like it. All right, so you can go ahead and make your own unit. It doesn't really need to be a piece of art. Um, you literally could just say width 32, height 32, and just make something like a blob um, that goes up like basically that kind of general shape. Um, other thing I'm going to do though is just try and do that middle center and see how that goes. So we'll set the origin to the center, the middle. Uh, I think that's everything to set up in there. Right, so next thing you want to do once you've made your object like that is go to the room we've made really simply. Um, put like just loads of these sprites in. Oh, another thing I did do, uh, just while I remember, is I used to have these lines in the middle and I got really annoyed because when I went to the room there was loads of lines here and it was getting pretty annoying so I thought yeah we'll just get rid of them it looks much nicer I think like that uh, without the lines if you imagine we didn't have the grid there as well I think it looks nicer without the lines um, but these grid lines are quite useful just lining things up so what we're going to do once you've done that is just test so in our case maybe say the player is a bit big I mean, you could half size it that, that does look a bit stupid um, I think that's to do with the snap. If you were to take the snap off, yeah, you can make him. You can scale him around a bit. Um, you could say, you know, that's that's a good size. Um, not entirely sure how you operate this quite yet. Um, it's relatively new to me, of course. But for the time being, you know, you can mess around with him and everything. He looks really weird now. Let's get rid of him. Start again. Um, but I'm just going to go with this size for the moment. It will look a little bit big and a little bit out of proportion. Um, but that's not the point. The point is to get the code down in this episode. So the, the plan, what was the plan originally? The plan was to have a where is it, where is it, where is it? center of civilization. And the center of civilization in our game is there. That blue dot there, the one that I can't get to. Um, here. There it is, sprite center, that one. Right splat bang in the middle, and that's going to be where our civilization starts. So theoretically, that should be where our units start from. So in our case, we're going to want one unit to start here. Just our very first unit, um, as soon as we load up the game, is going to spawn in. To do that, we need a center object, which we'll use quite a lot later um, when we come into troops and buildings and all sorts but we need some sort of uh, object to control the center um, instead of just the sprite like we have at the moment because the sprite can't do that much so we're going to get rid of this unit for the time being we're going to leave him uh, for now and what we're going to do instead is make an object create an object and we're going to call it object which we call it uh, what do we call the sprite? Just for consistency, uh, center uh, tile center, and we spell it E R. Okay, the sprite. Uh, we're gonna have sprite tile center, and now what we can do? We've made that object. We're not put any code in it, of course, but what we can do is go to this, we can delete that, and drag the object instead. But remember, we've got to be on the instances layer, otherwise it won't work. And we've got to sort out the snap on this layer as well because it's very weird. Uh, 32, 32 on this one we've got 
2011. So we need 2011. Uh, so make sure you do that. Make sure you set up the snap on the object layer. And then you should just be able to snap drop in. Nice. Like that. So it looks now practically identical to what it looked before. Um, except this is now an object. So we can do use a lot more with this. Um, because any code we use here will then replicate what happens in this room. So it's going to be our very first object. It's going to be the start of our civilization, if you would. The next thing we're going to want to do, we're just going to leave that for the time being, push that up there. We're going to make another object, and this object is going to be called Object Basic Unit. We might later on compile this all into one um, control thing, but for the time being, we're going to have uh, one object per unit. So, per sprite unit, we're going to have an object to go with it. So, again, match up the sprite, nice and easy. Collision mask, um, we're gonna, yeah, same as sprite for that. Uh, visible solid, we're not going to have any of this for the time being. Um, we're just going to leave it as is, like that. But now we've got two objects here. We've got these tile center, and we've got the object basic unit. I'm just going to move. We don't need the room editor for the moment. It's going to come back to haunt me when I open up the room again. But we now have two objects like this. So we have the tile center, the object basic unit. What we want to do is when we start the game, we're going to have the object tile center. We want to boot up one basic unit when we start in the center. So for this, we're going to make the center origin in the middle. Well, is it important to? Maybe we can just leave it there. Let's uh, make some events then. So create event is pretty simple. The description, what should we call it? Spawn one basic unit. Okay, yes, we know we can write our code in. What we're gonna do, we're gonna say instance create. Instance create has changed. Instance create depth then we'll go with. Um, we're going to say x is going to be our x and we want it in the middle so we're going to say plus 20 and y plus 11 so it's going to be bang in the middle. The way I've done that is just got the sprite for it and said edit image you know when I went like this and clicked middle center got those values there. Okay, so you can do the same for yours. Um, but basically we want to add that on so it'll be bang in the middle and the depth doesn't really matter so we'll say zero and the object we're going to create is object basic unit. Okay, that's relatively simple I think. Um, and at the moment really 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 non-cost um, non costly just to spawn one unit in. Uh, later on this might come back to kick us because if we do spawn in units like this uh, there is also the possibility that um, after having loads of units in it could crash the whole thing but for the moment we're just going to spawn it in like so and uh, now we can test it we've got a object, we've got a room we've got two objects actually um, and there you go, you can see it does spawn in what is weird though is the tile center isn't actually drawing itself. So, visible. Hmm, this might be some new game maker thing that I've completely missed out on. Um, also, it might be to do with the layer order. Layer view. I'm gonna put instances to the top. There we go, that's why. It was off center. Right now, we give it a run. Instance is now on top because it should be. The asset should always be on the bottom. And yeah, there you go. This kind of better. Um, it's a bit weird because our thing isn't centered. Our oh no, it is centered. Um, hang on, let me run it again and see where it is. It's a bit hard to tell because it's incredibly small. He doesn't appear to be in the middle there. Which is interesting. But um 
I might just play around with that. Uh, Maybe I'm not going to open this at all. So what if we just say X and Y, where would that spawn our U basic unit in? We want to make sure it's in the middle now because otherwise it will be a pain later. Right, that's in the middle but it's not very visible at the moment. Um, so let's make it minus one in the depth. Then it should be at least in front of the tile center. Yep, there you go, it spawned in the middle and um, we can't move them around at the moment. Later on what we'll do is we'll make this room a bit bigger and we'll be able to click on tiles and make him move to those tiles. So we'll add a little bit of movement, a little bit of um, some of that good stuff. And then we'll also, very later on, go into making um, the center be able to click on something, some button, and it'll cost a certain amount of resources to make a unit. So it could be food or something along those lines. But uh, for the moment we've got a room here, we've got a few couple of objects that are probably quite useful. Um, we're not going to movement, we've not really got a playable thing at the moment, but in the next video what we'll do is we'll make this unit movable and maybe add in some multiple units, we'll see how we get them on. Uh, but anyway guys, that's the RTS video for this week. If you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, always do you guys what to do, and I will talk to you in the next one.